I have an announcement to make. Team Victory member, I wish I was a rock star. You have been found guilty of being one of the best members of this team. And your sentence is to sit through this tutorial that you requested for Judge Dredd. Right here, right now, on Digital Victory. This is Judge Dredd. This is a 90s Data East table, and it was requested by I Wish I Was a Rockstar, who is one of our charter members here at Team Victory. Appreciate you watching, buddy. So this is based on the comic book before any of the movies came out, and I think it's awesome. This is a fun table. There are two main scoring methods, which we'll get to, but first things first, let's talk about the table elements like we normally do. Probably the most prominent element on the table is Planet Dead World, that large disc there with the three cutouts. You shoot the ball up that left ramp when the lock is on to lock balls, and they are all locked in those holes, and when you get three, you start the, the multi-ball. But I just wanted to talk about it real quick, because it's interesting, when the original table was built, the real version, it had mechanical problems and balls were getting stuck a lot and it wasn't working properly. So they basically turned it off and balls no longer locked there. Only one that stays there is the third ball, which initiates the multi-ball. Just thought that was an interesting little factoid. You'll notice when I play it, they all work though. All the multi-balls work, assuming I can make it happen. We'll try. Uh, you have a left lane there, like I said, which can shoot the ball in there when you have the lock on. You have a right lane here. One of the interesting features is the sniper's tower up on the right there. That and the left ramp play prominently. There is a left orbit as well that you see there. Another element is this left kickback lane. This left out lane here does not drain. That's pretty cool. You notice you have three lanes here. You have the in lane, which goes to the flipper, the middle lane, which does drain, and that left out lane. The left out lane is just a straight kickback lane. If the ball ends up down there, it gets kicked out automatically. There is a smaller ramp there on the right, which is the air raid ramp. And we'll talk about that in a minute as well. So let's talk about those modes. Before we get to the main scoring modes, let's talk about some of the minor modes. One is that air raid I told you about. When you shoot the ball through that ramp, it goes immediately to the left kickback lane I told you about. But instead of kicking out immediately, it waits for you to hit the plunge button to shoot the ball out. Now those judge letters there, you see, the lights in front of it will be off except for one, which will be rotating over. And what you want to do is you want to time it so that when you hit that plunge button and it shoots out of that left lane, you hit that lit light, and that's how you get the points in the air raid mode. Another of the minor scoring methods are the crime scenes. Now you see these jail windows here? Now each of those, as you see, are different colors, green, yellow, red, and, and white. That corresponds to the level of the crime. The left is the least severe, and the right is the most severe crime. Those correspond to different crime scene spots around the table. And you can see them here. So anytime one of those crime scenes is lit, you can shoot the ball in there to get a prize. And it's based on the severity of the crime. So if they're lit green, you get a million. Yellow is two, red is three million, and you can get four million if it's white. So basically while you're playing, and it's a random thing, while you're playing, you just look around the table and if any of those happens to be lit, especially if it's red or white, try and hit it with the ball because you get that number of points immediately. Also, if you hit seven crime scenes during a particular ball, you'll get an extra ball. That's pretty cool. After that, it takes 15 hits to get the extra ball, but it's active forever and those are actually very easy targets. So now let's get to the main scoring modes on the table. There's two of them. The first one are the chain links there. Each of those chain links is its own scoring mode. Now other than the specific modes, which are a certain task that you need to complete, the modes all last 25 seconds. To start any of those modes, you notice that yellow light on the left ramp there, and there's also a yellow light blinking in front of the sniper tower there. Whichever one of those is blinking, you shoot the ball up there, and that'll start the mode. The seven modes are Pursuit, Blackout, Battle Tank, Bad Impersonator, Meltdown, Manhunt Millions, Stakeout, Safecracker, and Sniper. 
If you're able to achieve all those modes, it'll immediately start the ultimate challenge, which we'll get to in just a second. I'm not going to go into real deep detail on each of those modes, but I'll just mention it real quick. The pursuit mode, you shoot the ramps, okay? You shoot the ramps and you follow the DMD, and you'll see the action on the DMD of you trying to shoot the bad guy's car. Blackout mode is a two-ball multi-ball where all the points on the table are doubled. There's an upper right ramp, and if you hit that, you get the jackpots. Battle tank, there'll be three of the crime scene lanes lit, and those represent three battle tanks. You basically just have to hit them all to win it. Bad impersonator is one of my favorite modes. And the, you'll see on the DMD uh, a guy singing really bad up, up on a stage. And you have to shoot the drop targets that are lit in the middle to throw fruit at them. You just hit them as many times as you can during the 25 seconds. Kind of fun. Meltdown are these captive balls here. You notice there's three captive balls and they're all separated by, oh, I guess you call them little cradles. And if you hit the first one with enough power, it'll go up and hit the next one. If that has enough power, it'll smack into the third one. And then if that has enough power behind it, it'll hit the target in the back. And that's how you complete the mode. If you complete it, you get 33 million. But you got to hit that first one really hard to be able to carry it through. The next mode, Manhunt. Manhunt millions. Real easy. You just shoot the left ramp as many times as you can to collect the points. Six million per hit. That's probably the easiest one to collect points on. I love it. Stakeout is really similar. You got to hit the right ramp and you only get 5 million per hit. Now, Safecracker, on Safecracker, you'll see a guy on the DMD sleeping in front of a safe. You'll hear a voice yell out, Open that safe! And you got to hit the ball into the subway hole enough times to wake him up. It takes four times. Bottom line is, you got to hit that subway hole four times. So you got to knock down the D, drop target, and then hit it in there four times. The next mode is Sniper and that's at the sniper tower. Once you initiate that mode, you have 25 seconds to shoot the ball into the sniper tower. If successful, he falls from the tower and then you have another 10 seconds to hit it again, which shoots him right out of the air for double the points. Very cool. Once you complete all the modes, it immediately starts the ultimate challenge. All right, ultimate challenge is a six ball multi-ball. And all you got to do is hit the lit crime scene symbols. Any lanes or targets with that crime scene symbol that's lit, you hit it up there for 10 million per hit. Pro tip here, they stay lit. So just hit the left and right ramps over and over again if you can. 10 million per. Can't beat it. Six ball, multi ball. It's awesome. Now one of the coolest things about these modes is the DMD work. This, is, this has got to be one of the best DMDs I've seen in a game. It's really interactive and fun during the modes. Uh, cool action on it. Listen to the callouts. It's actually very fun. Very entertaining. The other main scoring mode is the multi-ball. To achieve the multi-ball, you have to hit all five judge letters, but you have to do it in order. One of them is going to be blinking, and you hit it, and then another one will be blinking, and you hit that. Once you get them all done, that'll initiate the lock there on the left ramp. Those three green lights... You shoot it up there and it'll turn solid and lock the ball. And you'll see it lock into that planet Dead World. It's really cool. It'll rotate over and lock into one of those balls. Lock the other two the same way. And they'll all lock into that structure there. Very cool. The third one will initiate the multi-ball and you're off and running. During the multi-ball, the goal is to contain the four dark judges. And those are the ones in the middle there that you see. Mortis, Fire, Fear, and Death because that's the order they light up in. Now, you hit the left ramp to light the jackpot during the multi-ball, and then you shoot it into the subway hole to collect the jackpot. Once you've collected the fourth jackpot, it'll automatically start the ultimate challenge mode again. But this time, the ultimate challenge, instead of six balls, you only get four. But it's still the same thing. You gotta hit those lit crime scene targets for 10 million each. And that is Judge Dredd, and it's awesome. Very fun table. Now, this is the VPW version, and I've got a link below, of course, as always. There are other two versions. There's a 2.0 version, and there's a biggest mod, 3.0 version. Those are both really good, too. Uh, I actually like all three versions. VPW is the best, though, because of the physics, in my opinion. Uh, but they're all fun. This is Judge Dredd for I Wish I Was a Rockstar. Dude, thank you so much for being a great Team Victory member. My goal is to hit $150 million for the free game. 
Let's do it. Computer online. Welcome aboard. And already, I want to comment on the physics. They're beautiful. Okay. So I've lit up the first mode. Manhunt. So I got to shoot the left ramp over and over again. Ah, terrible control here. Wow, that was horrible. So I absolutely failed at that. I did not get the big points from the mode at all, but you'll notice I completed it as far as lighting it up. With this game, you don't have to be successful in the modes to go on to the next one, which is really cool. Uh, you'll notice the left ramp is no longer lit. Now the sniper tower is lit, and that's where I'm trying to hit to start the next chain link mode. I've also got red level on a crime scene Targets on the right here is where that is. We'll go start the next mode first, though. This is pursuit. Just got to hit the ramps to try and shoot that car, which I'm also failing at. Boy, I stick at that, huh? Well, once again, I failed at the mission as far as uh, completing it, but I did light it up. So I'm just going to keep going through it, keep trying to light more missions. Again, the left ramp light is on, and I've got a crime scene on the right. I'm going to go for that, which I failed at. Jeez, that was horrible. I'm going to keep trying. Start the next chain link mode. Ah, blackout mode. Oh, I already lost one. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Horrible. Ah, that crime scene mode is still lit. Now there's one on the left lit as well. I'm going to kind of go for those if I can. Oof. Uh, they're both lit white now, which is pretty pretty nice. Four million per. And I, I can't hit them for the life of me. Eesh. There we go. Wow. Okay. I forgot to tell you. And I forgot to do it as well. When it goes through that orbit, hold the right flipper up like that. Hold it up because when it comes around, it's good chance it's going to go down that uh, out lane, which you just saw. Woo, good save there. Uh, we, oh, we're in tank battle right now. Yeah, I've locked the ball too. Oh, extra ball was lit. Shoot. I wonder if it stays lit. I don't know. Dang it. Radar indicates an extra ball. Yes. See the little stand-up targets? 
I'll try and hit those. I'll try and lock a ball. Let's go. Hey, hey, there's one. Bad impersonator. See him up there dancing? Hit those judge targets. Oh, come on. Boo. -hoo. Man. I had that extra ball, though. Ball three, I need 13 million more to get that 150. I'm also pretty far along in the chain links. I'd love to get the ultimate challenge uh, going for you guys. I've actually never done that, so let's play. I hit it into the sniper tower to uh, initiate the next mode. Also trying to lock some balls here. Yes, there we go. I didn't care about the mode. I'm actually just trying to... Oh, son of a gun! Oh, man, I didn't do it. Just trying to lock a ball there. What do we got? Did I get it? Put in my initials and see. Best score I've ever gotten so far, for sure. I love this. Look at the match screen. Old lady, dice for cover, gets up shooting. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> 163. Man, that was awesome. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the multi-ball going or the ultimate challenge, although I got as far as I've ever gotten on it, but it was still a blast. I wish I was a rock star. Dude, great suggestion. Wonderful table. This VPW version absolutely rocks. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you coming by. We'll see you on the next one.